Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's crucial for anyone who's seen their income rise, but also wants to make sure they're not just inflating their lifestyle along with it. It's all about avoiding lifestyle creeps and maintaining a consistent savings rate, no matter how much you're earning. Before we get started, if you're enjoying the content and want to see more tips on managing your finances effectively, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It's just one click, but it helps the channel a lot and ensures you won't miss any future videos. Now, let's dive in. Lifestyle creep or lifestyle inflation is when your spending increases as your income grows. It's the sneaky way that a few extra dinners out, upgraded gadgets, or a bigger apartment can slowly chip away at the additional income you're earning leaving you with little to no increase in savings or financial security. You start to feel like you deserve that new car or those luxury vacations because you're making more money now, right? But what often happens is that these expenses add up and before you know it, you're living paycheck to paycheck again, just at the highest standard of living. So why does lifestyle creep happen? It's partly psychological. Well, as we earn more, our perception of what's normal shifts. That $5 coffee becomes a daily ritual instead of a treat. And suddenly, your budget is accommodating luxuries that were once special occasions. It's human nature to want more and as we have more, but recognizing this trap is the first step in avoiding it. One of the best ways to combat lifestyle creep is to have clear, defined financial goals. Whether it's saving for a house, building an emergency fund, or investing for retirement. Knowing exactly what you're working towards can help you resist the temptation to increase your spending as your income rises. So, when you get a raise or a bonus, instead of immediately thinking about how you can spend it, think about how you can use it to get extra close to your financial goals. Allocate a portion, if not all, of that extra income towards savings or investments. For example, if you receive a $5,000 annual raise, instead of spending it, direct it towards maxing out your retirement contributions or boosting your emergency fund. That way, you're making your money work for you and not the other way around. In addition, automation is your friend when it comes to staying disciplined. Set up automatic transfers to your savings or investment accounts as soon as your paycheck hits your account. By doing this, you're prioritizing your future self over your present ones. This method works because you don't have to make a decision every month about how much to save. It's already decided for you. As your income rises, adjust the automatic savings to reflect your new earnings. For example, if you've automated 20% of your income to go into savings and you get a raise, increase that amount so that you're still saving 20% or more of your new income. This doesn't mean depriving yourself but rather, it's about maintaining a modest lifestyle even as your income grows. Just because you can afford a nicer car or a bigger apartment doesn't mean you should get it. Stick with what you have and direct the extra money towards your financial goals. This mindset can help you accumulate wealth much faster. The longer you can resist the urge to upgrade your lifestyle, the more you'll save and the more you'll invest. This has a compounding effect over time. Adding to this, if your current car is paid off and running fine, keep driving it. Rather than buying a new one, use the money you would have spent on car payments to invest or save instead. One practical approach is to create a budget based on your previous income level, not your new, higher one. This method forces you to live within your own means, and the additional income can go straight into savings or investments. By doing this, you're essentially tricking yourself into saving more because you're not allowing yourself to spend the extra money. Over time, this can lead to substantial savings growth without feeling like you're missing out. For example, if your previous income was $50,000 and now you've moved to $60,000, continue budgeting as though you're earning $50,000. That additional $10,000 can be saved or invested. Moreover, awareness is key to avoiding lifestyle creep. Regularly track your spending to see where your money is going. If you notice that your expenses are creeping up, take a step back and evaluate whether those new expenses are truly necessary. Use apps or budgeting software to keep tabs on your finances and review your spending monthly. 
This habit will help you stay accountable and make adjustments if you see that you're starting to spend more as you earn more. So, what's one area where you've noticed your spending creeping up? Let me know in the comments and I'll love to help hear experiences and how you're managing it. Moving on, one of those most powerful tools against lifestyle creep is contentment. Learning to be content with what you have rather than always striving for more can help you resist the pressure to upgrade your lifestyle. Practice gratitude and focus on the non-material aspects of life that can bring you joy. This mindset can help you avoid the constant desire for more that often drives lifestyle creep. In addition, instead of upgrading to a bigger house because you can afford it, focus on making the current home you love. Invest in small improvements or simply take the time to appreciate the space you already have. The people you spend time with can significantly influence your spending habits. If your friends are constantly upgrading their lifestyles, it's easy to feel like you need to keep up. Surround yourself with people who have similar financial goals and who prioritize saving and investing over spending. This doesn't mean you need to teach friends who enjoy spending, but it does mean that being mindful of the influence they might have on you and your financial decisions. Share your goals with them, and who knows, they might even join in avoiding lifestyle creeps. Therefore, as your income grows, it's essential to keep your eyes on the prize your long-term financial goals. Avoiding lifestyle creep requires discipline, but the rewards are well worth it. By sticking to your budget, automating savings, and staying mindful of your spending, you can build wealth and achieve financial freedom faster than you might think. Remember, it's not about how much you earn, it's about how much you keep. So, these tips you should keep to heart and start making the most of your income today. Now, if you have found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with someone who might need these tips. As always, drop the thoughts in the comments below. I'm excited to hear from you and learn about your experiences with managing lifestyle creep. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.